Thank you for listening. My name is Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss 21. I'm a mixed martial arts journalist. I currently contribute to BJPen.com, Low Kick MMA, CageSidePress.com. You could find my work there as well as my YouTube channel at AK Strauss 21. And of course, the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast that you are listening to right now. Here is my latest interview. I hope you enjoy it. I want to welcome back Emmanuel El Matador Sanchez to the show. Has a huge fight coming up here. I just couldn't be happier for you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me on. And I you know, couldn't be happier myself. You know, it's been a long time coming, uh, 10 years in the making. And now it's time to go get it. For sure. And, uh, you know, it, it's not just the title opportunity, but uh, just a little while back, man, uh, you earned your black belt. Mm-hmm. That's how, right. How you was know, that? Uh, <laughs> uh, quite the surprise as well, too. You know, man, honestly, I guess it's rough because I'm very hard on myself. I wanted to be... See, I'm, I'm looking to be a jiu-jitsu champion and an MMA champion. You know, BJ Penn, Jose Aldo, Damian Maya, uh, Del Sanjos, you know, the list goes on and on of all these guys, you know, and, you know, that's why I, I really wanted that for myself. And I had yet to, you know, to get it at any of the, any of the belt ranks that I've competed at. You know, I've won a lot, lost a lot, and, you know, it just is what it is, but you know, in my off time, you know, a lot of people ask me what do I do for fun, and honestly, that's jiu-jitsu, and I love jiu-jitsu. I teach it to my kids. I, you know, teach adults as well, and I, I you know, I just truly love martial arts, and I love jiu-jitsu. So I, you know, do my best to try to compete as much as possible as well, too, and the biggest tournaments, so I beat JJF or ADCC, and, uh, yeah, you know, I didn't get the Pan Americans or World to any, uh, any belt rank, but you know what? I'll be hunting that black belt, but first things first is getting this gold belt from Bellator. After that, you know, I'll worry about all the other stuff later. You're going to Israel, man. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of people, you know, at first it's like, oh, damn, man, the travel and, you know, fighting international and everything like that. But, you know, man, it is what it is, you know. It's it's part of the business. And it's a -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you know. How many people can say that, you know, oh, wow, I'm going to go to Israel to, to fight, you know, to do what I love to do, and I'm going to get paid to do it, <laughs> and, you know, and uh, that, that my team and my lovely significant other gets to come along with me, and, you know, it, it's beautiful over there in Israel, and it's God's holy man, you know, so I'm just telling me I'm God, I can't wait to, to go out there, be blessed, and, you know, win the world title on God's holy land. For sure. You know, I remember uh, Bellator 175 here in Chicago, my home city, and you were part of that card as well. Uh, you uh, you competed against Marco Galvoa. You know, obviously a rampagers on that card and whatnot, but I, I remember thinking, man, Emmanuel Sanchez is here, and I felt like you should have been getting more attention. I, you know, I mean, obviously you got your fair share of interviews, but I just felt like you were kind of flying under the radar, but that's not the case anymore, man. You are getting recognized as an elite featherweight. You have an opportunity now against Patricky. Are you happy that all your hard work is finally paying off now after a decade? Yes, you know, and believe it or not, I feel like I'm just getting started, <laughs> you wow. know. Uh, I, I feel like it's still just the beginning, you know. Like, it, it's like my first fight all over again. Like, I'm just so excited, you know. Now, not a lot of people know this, but I had my first amateur fight in November and my first pro fight in November, and now first world title fight in November. So now, you know, the stars are aligning perfectly, man. I can't wait to go out there and, and win this world title. So it's it's been, you know, yeah, a decade in the making to, to make this all possible. So many ups and downs and curves and sads and happy and, you know, miserable and uh, wondering, you know, like, damn, when, when is my... When a, when is my hard work going to pay off and everything? And even then, still strong with men to this day. There always will be. But uh, I'm still just blessed, happy, fortunate, grateful, and loving every second of it. And you've been on an absolute tear, man. I mean, you won four straight. You won your last seven out of eight fights. And, and in that stretch, I mean, you've beaten Sam Silica, Daniel Strauss, as I said, Marcus Galvoa. I mean, you beat some of the very best in the entire world. What does Patricky bring that, that you might not have have seen yet in your career? Because I imagine at this point, you've pretty much seen it all. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Patricio. Patricio's the older brother. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, yeah. But, uh, yeah, 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 it's all good. Yeah, right, it's hard, right? They it's confuse like me. <laughs> identical for twins. Yeah, right? No, uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, honestly, nothing. You know, I, I, I've i been watching it for a long time, man, since, you know, when Bellator started. For me, you know, there's no animosity. There's no need to trash talk. How can I tell? This guy's a legend, you know what I mean? It's like uh, going back to watching... When I first started watching fighting, you know, WEC, early UFC, Bellator, that Strike Force, uh, Elite XC, you name it, man. You know, Bulldog, even, you know, I, you know, keeping my eyes on all of these, you know, MMA fighters from all over the world. And at the time, you know, uh, it, MMA is something totally different now, completely different, you know, compared to what it used to be. And this guy, you know, helped build the, the featherweight division, you know, it's like guys like Aldo, like Faber. I hate to even bring his name up, but obviously McGregor, you know, it's, uh, these guys are, uh, you know, that back when I was still a teenager, these guys are fighting for the world titles, you know, back then and making it happen and putting, you know, MMA on the map, not just MMA, but for the lighter weight class as well too. And now it's, you know, the most competitive ones that is out there, you know, the, Back then, it used to be the heavier weight classes that, you know, more eyes on a Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, Rampage, uh, Leota Machida, you know, Rich Franklin, Forrest Griffin, you know, those kind of guys. Matt Hughes, yeah, you know, bigger guys. Now it's the, the lighter guys, you know, that, you know, bring the most attention and the, the most stacked division, featherweight and lightweight, you know. The so truth, yeah. It, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, there, there's nothing but killers out there, and from all over the world now, you know, back then it would just be like, all right, USA, Brazil, and maybe, you know, some European, but now you got the Russian guys up and coming out here, and now Israeli guys coming up, and guys, the Canadian guys, people from all over the world, you know, where they're finding new talent, new fighters, and great fighters all over, and each and every promotion, you know, so yeah, he's, you know, he's a pioneer. He's uh, he's a legend, and I'm excited to go out there and face, face a legend and take him out. Yeah, isn't that the truth, man? I mean, uh, we're seeing it now, right? I mean, MMA is just a totally different place than it was just a little while ago. I mean, look at the trade now between Demetrius Johnson and Ben Askren. Who would have ever thought that was even possible? Right? Like, no, I just, one more, I just wake up and I start to hear this, that supposedly they're going to trade Mighty Mouse or Ben Askren. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? And, you know, again, like now Khabib is going to box Mayweather supposedly. I'm like, man, what is this world coming to? Like, what am I? <laughs> like, it's just, it's insane, man, you know? Back then it was, you know, like for me, you know how we grew up watching that, you know, Penn defending this title, going on up there, fighting the best guys from all over, you know, St. Pierre cleaning out the division, you know, Anderson Silva cleaning out the division, you know, that many title defenses are doing it. Now we got guys who want to jump weight classes, super fights, go box, go wrestle, go challenge Michael Phelps. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's, it's insane, man. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's how the, how much this, this sport has evolved, you know, and then not just the, the sport itself, but how mainstream, I guess, it's gotten where now Drake is walking out with Conor McGregor now and all this kind of crap, you know? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> It's crazy. Before you know it, someone's going to walk out with Justin Bieber, or Justin Bieber's going to get a fight. You never know. <laughs> like, all right, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah, it definitely is, man. Uh, how is how have things been at Rufus Sport? I mean, you guys uh, have long been one of my favorite camps. Uh, you guys have now guys like Jared Gordon, people coming from all over wanting to train with you. Absolutely. It's amazing, man. Jared is a uh, great guy. Very, I'm, I'm happy he's on our side. That's all I got to say, you know, great to learn with him, great to work with him. You got an open mind, hard worker, you know what I mean? Uh, tough East Coast guy. I'm like, you know what, this dude's good. Like, you know, he's got a great addition to the team. Him and Paul, and anyone else, and you know, Paul's uh, is bringing in other East Coast guys too, you know what I mean? It's something totally different for them, but they love it here. So, And we love having them here. So, you know what I mean? Great additions coming to train with us and learn from them and work from them. Yeah, you guys at Rufus Sport, uh, you guys aren't at one of the bigger camps, but you guys are a very close-knit camp, and those both of those guys have really just seemed to, to fit in uh, seamlessly. And, uh, bam, what you guys are doing, it's uh, it's big time, and I really believe that uh, you're going to be the newest champion in that stable very soon, brother. I can't wait. No, you better believe it, man. You know, it's, uh, every day I walk into the gym, and we got our you know our banner put up, and uh, I see Anthony and I see Tyron, 
And, you know, Duke even told me a long time ago, I'm next to be put on this banner from right here. And, you know, I can't wait to do that, you know. Other than, you know, Askren, you know, and else, you know what I mean, uh, being in Bellator outside of the UFC, you know, be able to make it happen. So, it's, you know, uh, we go back like four or five years ago, we had a couple of guys, everyone brought in their belts, all the promotions, you know, World Series, RFA at the time, Bellator, uh UFC, obviously, you know, and so now it's uh, you know uh, another champion that we get to get to add to the to the list. Not only for you know Wisconsin, for Chicago, for my for all my people everywhere, but of course, most definitely though, for me, it's worth the sport. You know, the kids that I teach every day, the people that I work with every day, that you know, Rufus Sport is my home. I walk you home, and you know, I love it to death, man. And you know, it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to bring the belt home for myself and for these kids. You know, these kids can't wait to see me as champion. I can't wait, man. If there's anybody out there that deserves it, uh, it is definitely you. I'd like to give you a few minutes here to shout out your uh, coaches, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. The floor is yours, Emmanuel. Uh, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, my beautiful, significant other, Stacy Blight, and unparalleled greatness. Starting our own brand now, working it out. So it's like, you know, it's not a diet or a weight cut. It's being able to meal plans and lifestyle change, man. It's able to help me out so much. And the list goes on and on, and I'm going to just rant it off right here. Hmm. Combat Corner, Diamond MMA Cup. Hit mouth guard, Iowa Bison, Fresh Rain Pokey, Wisconsin Athletic Club, Cryo Fit Milwaukee. See, I got the best people right here. My, this is why I love you know, Milwaukee so much. This is such a sm- small circle. You know, like you said, it's not a, a huge gym. There's not, you know, over 30 plus people over here, people from all over. I have people from all over. But, you know, our squad is small, but our squad is strong, you know. And, you know, you name it yourself, you know, I mean, the, the squad being so, you know, He's going to think, oh, wow, not a lot of guys, but each and every single one of these guys are savages. You know, savages in their division, savages in the promotion. And if they're not in Bellator or UFC yet, they're, they are well on their way up there, man. They, they are coming up, you know, guaranteed. You're going to see a lot more guys coming up. And, like, first and foremost, like my guy, Rafion Stotts. That's a uh, guy to keep your eyes out for sure, you know, because we just recently had our young know, man, Jordan Griffin, get signed to the UFC after winning the Contender Series. We have more guys going into the Contender Series, so I know most definitely you're going to see a lot more guys from our squad get into the UFC or Bellator very soon. I promise you that. And, you know, obviously my coaches, my team, uh, everyone around me, you know, they support me. I appreciate them very much. Them but love for, for everybody. You know, everyone's in my corner and we're all in this together. Well, thank you so much for your time, Emmanuel. I can't wait, man. Bellator 209, November 15th, just uh, just about a couple of weeks away, man. Uh, it's going to be a big night for you, brother. I can't wait. Absolutely. Thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it big time. Oh, yeah. Take care, man. I'd love to have you back on uh, after you capture the gold. That's right. And you will. <laughs> Let's do it. Take care, man. Safe travels. You too, brother. Thank you. <laughs>